Hey, high school sports fans, and welcome again to another edition of the Big Time Sports. I'm the Mellow Tones of Charlie Jones, and tonight in the house, we are going to talk high school volleyball. Now, last week, of course, we talked high school football. The week before that, we talked cross country. But tonight, we are going to start uh, with one of the area's premier volleyball programs, and we're going to talk high school volleyball with the TCC Lady Saints. Head coach Christian Tovoli is in the house tonight, and we're going to talk Central Catholic volleyball. But a couple dance steps. Here we go. Here in two weeks, we're going to have the Lane Wells NFL Prediction Show. You can watch Lane Wells every week tell you who is going to win the football game that Saturday. It all happens on our Facebook, which reminds me, 51 thousand followers on our Facebook. That's because we are big time sports. That's why they call us big time sports. Also for you Cleveland Browns fans, we have a podcast, a weekly podcast done by three guys who are deep, deep inside the Cleveland Browns organization. This show was called The Dogs. That's D-A-W-G-S. The Cleveland Browns show is called The Dogs. And of course, you can watch that here also on the Big Time Sports Facebook. Then, of course, we have Big Time Sports Today. Our host, Percy Garner, takes a look at high school sports every week on the Big Time Sports Today podcast. When you get a chance, I want you to do like Kristen Travoli does. I want you to go to BigTimeSportsOhio.com. This show, all of our shows, all of our games, Everything ends up at Big Time Sports Ohio. Now, let's talk about the biggest and the best fall sports schedule in America. Here we go. We have a 31-game fall sports schedule. Not only are we going to put these rough and tough Central Catholic volleyball girls on the schedule twice, but we are going to bring you high school volleyball, high school football, we're going to go up to Mount Union and do some Mount Union volleyball along with some Mount Union men's soccer. So we are action-packed here this fall on Big Time Sports. We're going to live stream seven games, all right? YouTube, our YouTube is getting better and better each week. We are going to live stream seven games out of that 31-game schedule. So that's why they call us Big Time Sports. We're up here. Everybody else is somewhere down here. So stay right there. When we come back, it's going to be Kristen Travoli and those rough and tough TCC Saints. We'll be back after you watch this from Jermaine's favorite automotive dealer. It's Ferris Chevrolet. Chevrolet Toyota. Rev up your excitement at Ferris Chevrolet Toyota, home to the 2024 Chevy Blazer. Discover the epitome of automotive excellence with us. Step into the driver's seat of the Blazer, where innovation meets adventure. Explore our showroom and let our expert team guide you to your dream ride. Don't just imagine the journey. Live it with Ferris Chevrolet Toyota. Visit us today on the Wabash in New Philadelphia or online at thinkferris.com. We all have something in common. 206 things, actually. And we at Cleveland Clinic care about every single one of them. From the tip of your finger to a brand new hip. Ohio's best orthopedic care will keep you going while keeping you safe. For every break and breakthrough, for every bone and joint. For every care in the world. Cleveland Clinic. Get the care you need when and where you need it. Visit clevelandclinic.org slash access. Wendy's new breakfast burrito is a full-blown full breakfast. breakfast. I even made a cool bracelet to remember all the ingredients. Six strips of bacon, two fresh cracked eggs, cheese, cheese sauce, and seasoned potatoes. Is that an egg charm? I had to trade big for that. Now this is a breakfast burrito. Toby, why aren't you eating your Cinnabon pull apart? Well, I wanted to save the best part for last, but it's all the best part. I don't know where to begin. Toby, eat your breakfast. Maybe I just smell it. The best part of Wendy's new breakfast Cinnabon pull apart is all the parts. Welcome back to the Big Time Sports Show tonight. We're talking high school volleyball with the uh, Central Catholic Saints. And with me now, head coach Kristen Travoli. And coach, welcome back to the show, my young friend. 
Thanks, Charlie. Thanks for having us. Another season. Another season. And wow, I know you just got done running around uh, playing this J.O. volleyball stuff. Throughout the winter, yes. Yep. Oh, you don't do it in the summertime? No, summer is for uh, our high school team. Open gyms. We play some tournaments, summer league, things like that. Did you go, did you take the girls to home of the giant roller coaster? Cedar Point? Yes. No, we didn't go to Cedar Point this year. You did uh, last year? Mm, no? I don't think so. This year we went, to, we took a group down to Myrtle Beach and we did a team camp and some team bonding stuff down there. How'd that go? It went really well. It went great, actually. I understand the team bonding. That always helps. How was the competition down there? So actually three other schools from Ohio went down too. And we did, so we did a four team camp together. Um, competition was really good. The first day we came out really strong. Um, the second day, same thing, we, were, we came out really strong, lots of energy. The third day I looked at us and I thought, we're going somewhere this year. And the fourth day we were a little tired, but we hung in there. We um, kept up with the other teams. We were the smallest team there. We only had nine, uh, 10 for a few days, but nine the rest. And the other teams had 12 to 15 girls there. So they had a lot of breaks where our girls did not. So now, how much time did the girls get on the <laughs> beach? You know, like where the waves come in, yeah. you know, the ocean and stuff, or you never even got near the ocean? Oh, no. We all um, stay together uh, in one condo. The team stays together, and they got several hours a day down at the beach. That's great. Yeah, it was I great. I love that stuff. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the TCC roster. Okay, so how's it looking this year? Well, we didn't graduate anyone. We had no seniors last year. So we're returning with the same players, adding a couple um, freshmen in there, here and there, and nothing set in stone just yet, but there's a lot of potential this year uh, amongst our team. One word, tell me one word to describe what you need this year. Um, what we need this year, a united front. That's not one word, that's two words. I understand, but. sure, that's great. Yes. Well, see, that's part of this team bonding thing. Yes. That's going to help out, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so you brought with you tonight for the show three seniors. These seniors have been with you for a while, right? Yeah, I think uh, Taryn and Julia have been with me since sixth grade. At least I started coaching when they were in sixth grade, so. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. Well, why don't you uh, tell us who you brought tonight and give us a brief description of each gal. Okay. Um, I brought with me Taryn Sunderland. Uh, she is a hitter for us. Um, she adds a lot of fire to our team. When she gets excited, everybody's going to know she's excited. You mean they can hear her? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also brought Jasmine Gear. Um, she also is a force to be reckoned with at the net. She adds a nice block for us. Um, she adds a little bit of a goofy perspective. Uh, she likes to talk to herself as she goes up to hit, which is super cool because it's what she does. Talks Every to herself oh, as she yeah. jump, gets off the floor? Uh, as she's going for the ball, yeah. It's just something she does. It works okay. for her. Whatever works, right? Get it done. Whatever works. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then we have Julia. Julia um, plays all the way around, front row, back row. Um, right now I see her strength for us as a back row player. Um, she, I ask her to start talking more on the court, and this summer I definitely think that she stepped up to that challenge. She um, is calling where the set is going, moving her feet, and really making a lot of progress in the back row for us. So three seniors now, you need to depend on these seniors. I do. Right? Are these three seniors going to step up and come through for you? Or have they already done that? They're learning. Okay. They're learning how to. How can a senior help uh, a volleyball coach? Um, like I said, stepping up, being that leader, being positive, um, not getting down on yourself, not getting down on your team, learning how to pick everybody else up. That's, and that's a tough job. Okay. 
All right. So let's talk now about the IVC. Okay. So I'm thinking that the, your saints have to be, uh, you know, uh, one of the people towards the top of the flagpole in the IVC. Now, right or wrong? Um, yeah, we're towards the top. Sure. Okay, so what are you thinking on in the IVC? Who is who is, is the team to beat in the IVC this year? I mean, besides the Saints, of course. <laughs> um, on our side of the IVC, I would say Strasburg and Connaughton Valley. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting this north-south stuff. <laughs> this north of the visits, that's right. So you now, okay, you're a north girl. Correct. Right? Yes. And, of course, you say the Rockets. Yes. And the Tigers in your division. Right. Okay, okay, so how many practices have you had so far? Um, technically two. We had the National Guard come in and put us through a boot camp, so just wow. two practices on the court so far. What does your clipboard say for your next practice? What are you <laughs> going to concentrate on next practice? Um, putting. We've kind of broken everything down back to a lot of the basics. So we're going to start putting more together at our next practice. So more um, repetition of digs, sets, hits um, consecutively. Okay. So. All right. So there you have it. I'm talking to head coach Kristen Travoli of the TCC Saints. Time to take another break. When we come back, it's going to be Coach Travoli and our young friend, by the name of Jasmine. I'm going to introduce you to Jasmine when we come back after you watch this from Ferris Chevrolet Toyota. Rev up your excitement at Ferris Chevrolet Toyota, home to the 2024 Chevy Blazer. Discover the epitome of automotive excellence with us. Step into the driver's seat of the Blazer, where innovation meets adventure. Explore our showroom and let our expert team guide you to your dream ride. Don't just imagine the journey. Live it with Ferris Chevrolet Toyota. Visit us today on the Wabash in New Philadelphia or online at thinkferris.com. Think Altman is here for you in your community because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team joined together and committed to one mission to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more. For your community and for your family, Altman is always here for you. Hey, other guys, insurance, you got Kyle. Hey, Kyle, it's Brenda. I was just reading through your proposal and I have a few questions. When we drafted up your proposal, we really aimed right down the middle. Sometimes wonder if your insurance agent true priority is more time on the golf course. At Hummel, we do insurance differently. Our expert advisors help you not only mitigate risk, but operate more efficiently, decrease employee turnover, and increase your bottom line. And we are back to the Big Time Sports Show. We've got the Central Catholic Saints in the house tonight. We are talking high school volleyball. And that last set, set, whoop, I had head coach Kristen Travoli tell me all about what's happening in the Saints camp. This time around, coach is going to introduce one of her players, a senior, of course. And coach, why don't you introduce this young lady? Because you know her a lot better than old Charlie does. <laughs> Uh, sure, this is senior Jasmine Gear, and this is her third year playing volleyball for me. Third year playing volleyball. Jasmine, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Okay, so Jasmine, why volleyball? Um, because my friends told me to play it when I first transferred to the school. Okay, all right, so <laughs> if you weren't playing volleyball, Jasmine, what would you be doing with your time? Honestly, I don't know. I probably would have ended up in volleyball either way. Okay, all right. Because people have different hobbies, different things they want to get done. But Okay, so how do you like TCC? I love it. Campus. Great. Yeah, I think it's lovely. Small school, mm -hmm. a lot of attention. <laughs> I mean, the, the teachers give you a lot of attention because you have small classes, mm -hmm. right? Yes. The trip to Myrtle Beach, did you get anything out of that? I mean, besides, you know, maybe a sunburn? Um, I just honestly had a good time I, with 
like the girls and everything. Okay. I loved uh, all the team bonding, honestly. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So, see, uh, Coach says you're a block. You can really block, okay? You're getting up over that net, and as you're getting off the floor, <laughs> huh? you're, do you're doing this? What yeah. are you thinking? What are you saying to yourself when you're, when you're getting up above that net for that block? Honestly, it's just like don't mess up or like go this way or oh, it's just like little mummers to myself to keep yeah. myself in line. And I'm sure Coach Travola has told you, don't mess up. That's the, just get up and play hard. As long as you play hard, that's all head coaches worry about. Right, Coach? Yep. Volleyball is a game of mistakes. That's exactly right. Now, Coach, give me one sentence to describe what this young lady does for your Saints. Um, Jasmine uplifts everybody. She can put a smile on just about anybody's face. Wow, that's great. Every team needs somebody like that. Because you know what? When Julia Shiretti has this frown on her face, <laughs> you get Julia Shiretti fired up again, don't you? Yeah, I guess. I can make her laugh. Okay, so wait a minute. That reminds me. I just thought of something, Coach. And Jermaine, perhaps you could jump in and help me out with this, Jasmine. When was the last time the volleyball team had a pool party at the Shreddy residence? Can somebody fill me in on that? Because I'll say that because I've been waiting down for three years, you know, for an invite, and then they forgot where I live. It's been a while, actually. Oh, it's yes. been a while. We were oh. we're hoping to pull one off this summer. I tell you what, I will bet you if you win the IVC North Championship, the Shreddy family will have a big pool party for you, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so can you grade yourself so far? How do you feel about your game so far? Mm, I think I'm like, like, like out of a hundred percent. Like I think I'm a seventy at least. How do you improve your game? What do you? If you had a couple of days to to work on a area of your game, what area would it be? Confidence, definitely, because I feel like I have the skill. I just get scared sometimes when I play. Okay, okay. So that's what we're, that's what we were just talking about. Okay, so what does the term senior leadership mean to my young friend, German? <laughs> Did I say Jasmine? No, you said German. Oh, <laughs> Jasmine. Okay. Jasmine. Okay. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> leadership? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's just playing like solid, playing with your mind and just going at it, like not thinking too much into it. Okay. All right. Now, Coach, she's a blocker. She is. You heard me ask her the question, how does she improve her game? How does she do that? I mean, she's a very good player now, okay, but if she in one area that she needs to work on a little bit would be what? I mean, I don't disagree with her on her confidence. She could work on her confidence in growing in that, in remembering that volleyball is a game of mistakes. It's going to happen. So it's inevitable. That's right, you hear that? Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody makes a mistake. Play hard and have fun, and that's all Coach Travoli cares about, right? Okay, now. Senior at TCC. That's big time, being a senior at, CC, at TCC. Where are we going to find you down the road of life? What are you going to do after TCC? Um, right now, I'm thinking about going to Kent to uh, be a nurse and eventually be a traveling nurse. Wow. Coach, yeah. you and I both know traveling nurse is a, is a big job. It is a big job. Now, you're going to go to Kent campus or Kent? Tusk. Tusk, okay. Mm -hmm. Can you get, do you know, can you get a nursing degree at, at, at down here? Yeah. Wow, I didn't even know yeah, that. Yeah, they That's have a great. good nursing That's program. Right. Well, listen, I got to throw it to a break. Of course, I want to thank Jasmine. I got it right that time. <laughs> I want to thank Jasmine for coming on tonight and have the very best senior season you'd ever want to have, okay? Thank you. All right, we'll catch you along the trail on Big Dive Sports. All right? All right? Yep. All right, so there you have it. Head coach Kristen Travoli and Jasmine Gear in the house with old Melatones. We'll be back with my neighbor lady, my neighbor gal, who has that big 
beautiful, luxurious Olympic style pool. We'll be back after you watch this from Julia Ceretti, Ferris Chevrolet, Toyota. Altman is here for you in your community because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team joined together and committed to one mission to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more for your community and for your family. Altman is always here for you. Searching for the quality of a nationally recognized Medicare Advantage plan, but seeking the personalized care and service of a local, familiar face? Primetime Health Plan is a top-performing plan with competitive benefits available right here in your community. Whether you call or meet us in person, our local team will be there to help you find quality coverage and care close to home. Call us today or visit us online at www.pthp.com to learn about our 2024 plans. I wanted something that I could learn a little bit more about what I was passionate about. I wanted to learn a trade that would always be in demand. Buckeye has so many opportunities for everyone. You're here because you want to do what you came here to do. This is the best choice that I've made. Uh, I just think it's set me up to be a better person. Welcome back once again to the Big Time Sports Show tonight. The Lady Saints in the house, and we are talking high school volleyball. In that last segment, of course, Coach Kristen Trevoli was at my side, but that last segment, we invited in a young lady by the name of Jasmine Gear, and Jasmine was in the house with old Mellow Tones. This time around, we've got two more Central Catholic Saints. Let's introduce now senior Taryn Sunderland and Taryn welcome to the show my friend thanks for having me okie dokie and uh, between Taryn and the old guy here we've got my neighbor <laughs> gal she's the one with the big pool okay that's the parties all night long I, I can hear them from my driveway but of course waiting for my first invite but anyway her name is Julia Shreddy and Julia welcome aboard my friend thank you You two have been playing volleyball for a long time. Did you ever think that you would be a senior volleyball player, Taryn? Probably. I didn't think I'd quit. Let's go back to your first volleyball practice as a lowly freshman. What were you thinking walking into the gym as a freshman? Um... I think I was just intimidated because there was a lot of upperclassmen whenever I was a freshman, but I think I was excited to play. Okay, all right. So what about you, Julia? Freshman, first time, what are you thinking? Um, yeah, I think I was definitely intimidated on his skill-wise. There's a lot of people with a lot of skill in the gym, but... Yeah. My sister was a senior that year, so it was easier to That's right. get yeah. in the crowd. So, ladies, uh, you've been playing three years now. Taryn, give me your aha uh <laughs> moment of TCC volleyball. Something you'll never, ever forget. Something that even Jasmine Gear won't forget. Um, I think it was when we beat Highland at Sandy Valley in the tournaments. I don't remember who got the kill at the end, but I remember it was just like, oh my gosh. We wow. Got. Okay, and what year were you when that occurred? A sophomore. Sophomore. Wow, that was a big win, right? Okay, Julia, what about you? What is the uh, aha moment of high school volleyball? I think mine was my sophomore year, too, when we were deep in the tournament run. Um, one of the games to get to regional finals, we were down with, like, we, haven't won. we didn't win any set so far, and then we came back with a winning three sets in a row to win the game. You know what? Wait a minute. Where was that game at? Do you remember? No, I do not. Okay. I think I was there. I think you, you were there. I think yes. I, we were doing the game, yes. and I forgot, of course, and on the way home, 
Coach Travoli can tell you, because I'm sure she remembers it. Yeah. Okay, so you both had pretty good careers at TCC playing high school volleyball. Okay, so Taryn, how would you, uh, what kind of advice would you give a an eighth grader that comes to you and says, uh, Taryn, um, do you think I would have fun playing high school volleyball? What kind of advice would you give them? Um, I would tell them it's a lot of work, but it is fun, and it's very rewarding, but it goes really fast, so you just have to enjoy it while it's happening. Did you, Taryn, enjoy the, uh, of course, I know the answer to this already, but your trip to Myrtle Beach, did you like that trip? Okay. Julie, what about you? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. So what did you learn, girls? What did you learn from a trip to Myrtle Beach? You know, you could have spent all that time in the TCC gym instead of going all the way to Myrtle Beach. How was it going to help you girls in your senior season? Julia, go ahead and fire. Um, I think it was a big, it was a good opportunity for a lot of team bonding, obviously, and just being in the tight spaces with each other it was, it's easy to transfer that to, onto the court, the bonding. You know, and, I'm glad you brought that up uh, because, uh, Taryn, you know, when I was, if you weren't asleep when I was talking to Coach Travoli, <laughs> she mentioned something about, it wasn't team bonding, but a key word that she needed this year was something, and it had to do with watching each other's back, everybody being on the same page. Mm -hmm. You got me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so ladies, you're both seniors. Yep. Taryn, what are you going to be doing down the road of life? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, you're allowed to do that. You're young, okay, but it's just around the corner. Okay, so if you had to wake up tomorrow and have a job, would you want to be like Mellow Tones on Big Time Sports, or would you want to be the head nurse at the Cleveland Clinic Union Hospital? Um. I don't know. I'd probably just hope whatever it is, I enjoy it. Okay, that's it. That's true. That's true. Okay, Julia, what do you think? I'm a little worried about you. <laughs> You're my little neighbor girl, and I see you all the time. I beep, beep. I wave. She stands up at the pool, by the way. <laughs> she's up at the pool, and I'm down on the road because she's oh, waving yeah. at me. You know. yep. She doesn't go like this. Okay, <laughs> she just goes like this. So, Julia, where are we going to find you down the road of life? Um... I'm not sure where I want to go to school yet, but I think I want to major in fashion merchandising or somewhere along that line. In fashion merchandising? Wow, that's, you see, that's tough. Yeah. You know what's so tough about it? Very few people in fashion merchandising. I don't want to rain on any green, <laughs> but you better know exactly what you're doing. Yeah. And not because a lot of people try, but a lot of people yeah, don't right. make it. Yeah. But, of course, the very best of luck. Okay, Thank you. Now, now, ladies, how do you win the IVC championship? Taryn, what's it going to take for the Saints to bring home that big trophy? I think we all need to play together. And when we play together and like are playing well, we can win and beat a lot of teams. All right. You got 20 seconds to tell me. Okay. Um, yeah, I agree. I think once we all find our roles and figure out who needs to do what, we can be very successful. Ladies, good luck. Bring home that championship trophy. We'll see you a yes. couple games down the road on Big Time Sports. Now, you got to help me close the door on the show. Okay. 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 Are you ready, ladies? Yep. Here we go. Keep your socks high. And your powder dry. And bye-bye. Good night. Everybody.